it's Susan here from Komori no Hime Cosplay, and welcome back to another episode in the 20 Years of Anime series. Today we're going to be going back to 2002, and we're going to be making the dress for Maid Mew Ichigo from Tokyo Mew Mew. I'm making this specifically for Ichigo, but you could use it for the maid outfit for any of the other characters. For Ichigo's maid outfit, we're going to be using New Look 6299. And we're going to be using the pattern for view B and just switching out the sleeves so that they're puff sleeves. And instead of having the skirt be A line like this one, we're going to add a pleated skirt later. So we're just going to cut the pattern off at the waist. Then we're going to cut out the pieces out of our main fabric. Now the color of Ichigo's maid outfit changes from artwork to artwork. In some it's dark red, in some it's pink, in some it's bright red. So I'm using this kind of mottled colored cotton calico that I got at my local Joann's and as you can see it's got glitter all over it which I thought would make a nice touch since it's from a Magical Girl series. After the bodice pieces have been cut out we're going to zigzag along the edges to keep them from fraying. For the detailing on the front of her bodice, we're going to start by cutting a rectangle out of white fabric and folding the edges inward on each of the longer sides and press it flat. Position the white strip onto the center of the front bodice piece and we're going to sew it down along each side. Next we're going to add a bit of lace along either side of the white stripe. Sew all of the bodice pieces together along the various side seams and along the shoulder seams. Instead of using the skirt that's a part of the pattern, we're going to be changing the design so that it is a pleated skirt on the bottom. So we're just going to take a very long rectangle out of the pink fabric and pleat it until it is the length of the waistband. Sew the pleated skirt portion onto the bodice. For the collar of the dress, I just made up my own pattern, and then we're going to cut four of them out of the pink fabric. Two of them are going to be left plain, and then two of them are going to have some interfacing fused to the back of them. Then we're going to put right sides together and we're going to sew them together along the curved edge and over to the end. Turn the collar piece right side out and press it flat. Then we're going to top stitch along the curved edge and we're going to zigzag along the raw edges to keep the two pieces together and to help keep them from fraying. Then we're going to sew some lace along the curved edge. Sew the collar to the neckline of the bodice. Then we're going to top stitch all along the edge to help keep the collar standing upright. And we're going to sew the back seam of the dress and insert a zipper. Since the pattern we're using does not have puff sleeves, I'm using Simplicity 1093. And we're just using this poofy sleeve pattern. We're going to cut two out of the pink fabric and putting right sides together, fold it in half and sew it together along the side. To make the cuffs of the sleeves, we're going to cut two rectangles out of some light pink fabric. I'm using some pink glitter cotton. Then we're going to fold them in half and sew them together along the side. Fold the cuffs so that the wrong sides are facing each other. Then we're going to zigzag along the top to help keep the edges from fraying and to hold the two sides together. On the side without the zigzag stitching, we're then going to sew on some lace. Gather the base sleeve at the bottom hem and attach the cuff. Then we're going to attach the sleeves onto the bodice. Finish the edge of the skirt using a rolled hem. And to make the stripe at the bottom of the skirt, we're going to sew on some bias tape. I went a little bit extra and made my own bias tape out of the same pink sparkly material that I used for the sleeves, but that's a little bit overkill, so you could just use some regular pink bias tape. 
And with that, made Ichigo's dress is done. For more cosplay tutorials on how to make the rest of the costume, please subscribe, and thank you very much for watching!